Hey there, one thing that I wanted to share with you that I'm getting out of these interviews and soon you'll be able to listen to those, look for some of them being released on May 1st for Lyme Disease Awareness Month. But again, I'm interviewing survivors and people who have recovered from Lyme disease. And one of the main themes that keeps coming through is the power of our words and the importance of believing in healing. True to the bone, like you must be hardcore committed to the fact in your heart, mind, body, and soul that you are healing. There is no room for doubt or room for um, error. Like you have to be 110% certain of this. And I was also talking with one of my clients today and it was um, going through some different things about her situation and just listening to her vocabulary. And of course I'm human and I used to do the same thing, but it was like, if I get better and it's like, no, 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 no. When you get better or you already are healing, like you're healed, you're healing, change the, the words from sickness and not well to health and healing and just see if that paradigm shift alone will help you. But honestly, I've been listening to now maybe 10 different people's stories and I recently finished a book called Radical Remission, which is fantastic. That was recommended to me in one of the interviews. You'll again hear that coming up soon. Um, but thank you, Jessica, for the recommendation of that book. And it's from people, it's about people who are getting better from cancer. And a lot of them had said, screw you, doctor. I'm not accepting the diagnosis that you're giving me. I believe that I'm going to heal and get well again. And it's the same thing. I think no matter what we're facing, when we're in that situation, it's like, you really just have to believe with your whole heart and soul that you're getting it. And I can think about some times in my life when I manifested different goals and I was just so sure of the outcome. I was so sure that I was going to get whatever it was that I had set my mind to, that there was no other option. And so it's the same with healing and I've achieved every one of those goals. I might add another thing that you could do for yourself is to write things down. I'm thinking back to a list I wrote out of goals, a top 10 things that I wanted to attract in my life. And I've pretty much accomplished every one of those. And it might not have been instantaneous, but some of them were, and some of them took a little bit more time, but they were accomplished. And I think it's just the forethought of planning, writing it down, sending that message to the universe that yes, this is what I want. This is what I'm committed to. And this is what I believe in. And this is what I'm going to get. And then with no doubt again in your mind, you go full bore, full tilt towards that goal. And you do not let anybody or any ideas or anything else derail you. Of course, there will be moments of self-doubt or moments when you're not as um, thoroughly committed, but you must overall maintain that vibration and that frequency. It's incredibly important to the healing. And sometimes I think we do all of these other things, but potentially, the thing that really matters most is our committed belief. Please think about this more. Leave me some thoughts below about what you think of this. And if you found this useful or just helpful in opening your eyes to maybe a little bit of a different perspective shift that could encourage healing, please feel free to share this. I love my ideas being shared with others. And these are just things that, again, I've done or thought of through my healing process that have helped me out. And again, if you are interested, you can also follow me. I have a YouTube channel now for my regular watchers on Facebook. If you want to follow me there, I'd appreciate the support. I'm up to, I think, 52 followers. But again, it's not really something I've actively promoted. But what I'm getting ready to do here is launch the silver liming. And I will use YouTube probably as a platform to host my videos. So again, if you want to follow me there, I really greatly appreciate your support. Have a great night, everybody, and stay healthy.